we've got uh, another special alumni guest today, Christian Jimenez. Wow, uh, Christian, a little bit of history for Christian. Played on the national team, went into residency, so we can ask him a couple of questions on that. Went to the World Cup, but it wasn't an easy road. Ended up playing for Chivas USA and, of course, Real Salt Lake. So we'll, we'll ask Christian, first of all, he was obviously an alumni of ODP, so we'll chat first about your experience as a young boy playing in ODP. My first, my first experience with ODP was, uh, was back when they scouted players in, uh, or sorry, they didn't scout players, they were, they were, they were tryouts. Uh, I went to the District 5 tryout. Um, I, was, I was an 86, it was an 85 tryout at the time. I was able to make that team, uh, that district team. Uh, that year, Steve Sampson came in and uh, changed the whole dynamic of the ODP program and I was still able to make the ODP 85 team. Uh, went to regional camp with the 85s. Uh, that next year I ended up playing my age, the, the 86 team, um, made the regional team, made the U14 national team at the time. Uh, we played in Mexico um, with the U14 national team. Uh, and, you know, my, my soccer career started there, really. As a young boy, you got invited to go to a special place in Bradenton, Florida. Absolutely. Um, there, was, there was a residency program, the U17 residency program, that, um, that basically picks the, the thir at the time the 30 best players in the country to go move to Florida, go to school, and prepare, prepare for the U-17 World Cup. Um, I was fortunately one of those players that was invited. I was out there for two years, left my family when I was 15 years old, uh, lived in Florida for two years, played in the U-17 World Cup. Um, we, played, we played against Spain where uh, Fabregas, Sergio Ramos was playing, uh, a couple other players. We, played, we, lost in Bra we lost to Brazil in the quarterfinals. Uh, it was, it was t t definitely a tough tournament, um, but residency was a, was a great experience, and you know I, I still I still live those days to be honest. That's great. And then from there, obviously MLS. Correct. Uh, I was drafted when I was 18 by Chivas USA. Um, played there for a season. Uh, got traded to Salt Lake. Played there for three years, and unfortunately my career ended after a, a, knee, a pretty serious knee injury. Right. A similar similar to Mikey Enfield, but. Uh, Obviously, you've been with us now for about five years back in Pro Plus ODP, and I know you're like probably Mikey, you've seen the changes in the dynamics. So, you know, obviously, the development academies come in, um, there's some players have left. Well, what do you think about the level of play now? And, uh, you know, for, for kids that are chosen, is, do you think it's a massive value still? Absolutely. I mean, I, I've always been a, a big supporter of the ODP Pro Plus program just because it, it's, it's what I grew up with. It's what I believed in, and I, and I still do. I still believe that the players that, that we select still have an opportunity to, to advance and, and get to the national teams and, and, and get to college and get to, to the, you know, end up professionally. I know that's, that's one, of their main, one of their main goals. It was one of mine, and um, fortunately, I, I think we have the, the people and, and the, the structure to help those players get there. So lastly, obviously tomorrow uh, a big game. We've, uh, we've got nine teams in the finals in Arizona. And I know you've been on both sides of that. You've, you've gone to the finals and we've, we've won and we've gone to the finals and maybe not done as well. Prediction, a Mikey Enfield win? Of, of course. I mean, we, we want to win as many, as many uh, championships as we can with the, OO, with the OO boys. We're defending national champions, so we want to repeat.